Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. Now, a couple of days ago, or was it last week, I did an unboxing and initial on-feet review of the Yeezy Foam Runners. They also look like Protoss Carriers for those who are StarCraft fans. But anyway, uh, I got a lot of comments, uh, both on TikTok and uh, here on YouTube, asking me to take a look at the cheap fake version that you can get for like 200 pesos on various online websites here in the Philippines. Now, what I decided to do, since you asked for it, I got myself just that. So we have over here the cheap knockoffs, the cheap fakes that are selling for like 200 pesos and apparently are like crazy bestsellers uh, on various e-commerce websites. And I just wanna compare them to the real thing. So if you are curious as to how the fake stack up the cheapest fake stacks up to the real one this is the video for you so keep on watching tara let's go If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below what you think of the knockoffs. In the comment section down below, I'll try my best to reply to as many of you. Okay guys, this is it. This is the 200 peso fix <laughs> of the Yeezy Foam Runner. So uh, it even has like a weird logo over here. Apparently it's called GTX. And if you remove it from the box or the plastic that it came with, uh, this is what it looks like. Now, to be honest, from afar, it will probably look similar, but if you take a closer look, there are a lot of dead giveaways that can give you an idea or at least tell you that these are fake. First one is quality control. So if you take a look at this part over here, you can see bits and pieces of the foam uh, you know, still clinging to the edges of the cutouts of the shoe. You have it over here as well at the top and you have it a lot actually. A lot of the cutouts have it. So the, the poor quality just shows. The second thing is what I would call boils or parang ano taro, pigsa. So this shoe has that. May pigsa tong sapatos na to. Kasi if you take a look at this, I don't know, let's let, let it focus. Yeah, no, nakita niyo yan? Those bumps over there, that one, that one, that one, that one. I'm not sure if they are liquid bubbles that are popping up, but it just looks really unsightly. So the original one obviously does not have pigsa or boils, right? So that's the second thing that, that's a dead giveaway. The third ultimate dead giveaway is if you take a look at the back of the heel, it says actually they're GTX, right? So obviously the real one doesn't say GTX at the back of the heel. This is the original one, this is the fake. If you take a look at the outsole, the pattern is kind of similar. But another dead giveaway is that if you take a look at the original, it obviously has the Adidas logo there, while the fake one over here has that GTX logo. How about the on-feet experience? I can tell you right now that the original one whoops the ass of the fake one in terms of overall cushioning and comfort. Uh, well, more of the fit, more than anything else. How do I say that? Number one, if you take a look at the inside of the original one, it's not totally flat. There are like, you know, bumps that go up to give specific parts of your underfoot more support. But the fake one is just really weird. Parang it's super overpronounced. The bump here at the middle is just so high. And then the part of the forefoot is so much more constricting versus the original one. So this part. So this one is really tough, the material, compared to the material over here, which is softer. So the tougher material that they used over here, kind of, you know, it, I mentioned before in my review of this one that the problem with the Easy Foam Runner for people who have wide feet is that the forefoot section, kind of the, the, the rubber part, hits the bone of your big toe, making it uncomfortable sometimes. This one is so much more overpronounced, the, the discomfort, because it is harder material, lalo na dito sa harap. It pushes down and it makes, if you have wide feet, it can cause a problem. So in short, yes, there are obvious ways to tell if your easy foam runner from the 200 peso market is fake or legit. Now, having said that, I would still not recommend that you pay resale for this. The original one, because this one is 20,000 pesos right now, 16 to 25,000 pesos, depending who you ask, depending on the reseller that you talk to. I just feel that 
paying five times, almost five times more than the original price of like 4,000 something pesos is way overkill for a sneaker that's made out of one material and that's shaped like this, if you know what I mean. So it's just plain not advisable to shell out resale for this, in my opinion. Ako lang naman yun. So what I would really recommend is that if you really, really like the shoe, is that you just keep on trying your luck by joining raffles. Keep on trying, you know, the Adidas website, Commonwealth, uh, Soul Academy, if ever they come out with it. You can join the raffles via online, so it's not as hard. Yes, clearly there are bots. Clearly there are a lot of people trying to get it. But hey, if you don't get it, then it's fine. It's not an issue. Then wear your normal Islander slippers or your Crocs because it's not really super amazingly mind-blowing awesome in the first place. And you will have a lot more chances to pick one up in the future. Do not feel bad if you lose in the raffle because it's not the end of the world. And in fact, you just saved like 4,000 something pesos which you can use, uh, I don't know, and invest in something else. So that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up the segment about the Yeezy Foam Runner Fake versus Legit. Now at this point in the vlog, I want to bring you guys along with me. We'll go down to my other YouTube studio, my main YouTube studio. And I just want to unbox one more package. I was sent over by our good friends from Starbucks Philippines. So apparently, it's the new Starbucks Herschel collection. So if you want to see that, keep on watching. Let's go. While waiting for the elevator, guys, if you haven't followed me on TikTok yet, uh, please do so. Medyo madapapadalas na aking mga TikTok posts. So the link to my TikTok account down below. So without further ado guys, this is it. This is our quick unboxing of the new Starbucks Herschel collection. Now, they're available actually on Lazada. So I'll link down below just in case you guys want anything from their new limited edition collection. So buksan natin siya. Parang kanya magpabukas sa akin Oh, you know. So we have two items inside the box. So kanyan yung itsura sa loob. So the first one looks to be our favorite Starbucks tumbler. So buksan natin. So we have it in this paper packaging, and if we remove it, ba bam! Oh, nice! Very cool. So it's an all black tumbler or bottle. You have the Starbucks logo over here, Herschel over here, and nakasulat dito sa likod, People Planet Coffee. Nice. So panal, and I love the shape of, parang diagonal. So very sleek, very modern, and very cool looking. Tumbler, so nice. The second item that we have in my box is uh, it looks like some sort of ano, parang body bag. So buksan natin again from Herschel and Starbucks. Ba bam, you know, nice. So it's like a simple body bag. So you have again the Starbucks logo, Herschel, and then People Planet Coffee, black and green color. Very nice. Again, guys, so if you want to carry, you know, your essentials from shirt, uh, shirts, <laughs> from your phone to wallet, pwede nyo lagay sa loob ng, sa loob ng bag na to. So, buksan natin siya. Oh, and apparently, ito pala yung theme ng collection. It's written here at the back. Thus, this fabric is made from recycled PFT and coffee grounds. So, it's a sustainable, sustainability play by both Starbucks and Herschel. So, hindi lang to made out of normal material, they actually recycled to put this together. And speaking of that, akong yun yun, the material is pretty good. So, again, if you are looking for stuff that has deeper purpose and that not just, you know, your typical material, not just your typical, you know, shoes or bags, you might want to check this one out. Pwede. Pwede show. So, something nice, something easy, carry your daily essentials ba bam so again again guys if you want one i link down below to their lazada shop okay sa mga umaasa ng carlo cook segment for today apologies there's none <laughs> but there will be another carlo cooks tomorrow sa abangan niyan tomorrow i'll probably show you how i don't know i'll probably do liempo or something else but but yeah para panalo di ba? let's keep on cooking anyway that actually rounds up my vlog for today guys i hope uh, you're all doing fine. I hope you're all safe. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of everything that you saw in today's vlog in the comment section. I'll try my best to reply to as many of you. As usual, this is Carlos signing out. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.